Best of 19, first to 10 will go through to the second round to play either Ronnie O'Sullivan or Liang Wenbo. They're up for this afternoon. Nine frames in the first session. Well, he's waited nine years to play at the Crucible. That's not a good break-off shot from Marcus Campbell. He's caught the blue. Joe Johnson is alongside me. I guess, uh, well, you never know, do you, Joe, when uh, your current Crucible appearance will be your last. So he's spent nine years trying to get here. He's going to make the most of this today. Yes, and as you said, he hasn't made the best of break-offs. Caught the second red instead of the end red. And it's the first red goes to Mark Williams, who's shown us how well he's been playing by winning the last event in China. And a real pleasure to see him back to form. Great player, great touch player. And really nice to watch when he's in full float. Well, he played so well, didn't he, in, in Beijing? He really did, particularly in the last session of the final against Ding Zhongwei. He beat him 10-6 and really was playing the sort of snooker he produced when he won this World Championship twice in the early part of the last decade. Six. Yes, a man with confidence. So Marcus Campbell is going to have to play well here. If he's going to have any chance at all. Well, look, you saw the arc on the cue ball there, and it just arced too late. 13. Too much top on the cue ball. Here it is again. There's the bend, but it came too late. Mark Williams, 13. So just 13 scored from his first chance. Marcus Campbell comes to the table. He's the world number 45 from Dumbarton in Scotland. Came into the arena to I'm on my way by the Proclaimers. But he knows uh, he could be on his way home pretty soon if he doesn't produce a decent performance against Mark Williams. Yes, 2001, he last played here. He lost to Anthony Hamilton, and uh, he admitted he was so nervous that he really couldn't get going at all. Lost 10-4. Well, that was a bit weird. Where's the red going? Ooh, and that needed to go in for Mark Williams. He's left the table wide open now for Marcus Campbell. Nice, easy opener with the red over the right corner. Black is available and didn't really get anywhere near that one, did he? Got nearer this one to the bought corner. So Campbell is in. He had two good wins in the qualifiers to get here. He beat James Watanar from Thailand, former semi-finalist, 10-5. And then in the final qualifying round, he beat Matthew Stevens, 10-9. Stevens, of course, twice runner-up. Indeed, he was runner-up to Mark Williams 10 years ago and also to Sean Murphy five years ago. So terrific win for Campbell. Yes, make no mistake, he can play. I remember him beating Stephen Henry 10-1, I think it was, in the UK Championship. 9-0, Joe. Was it? Yep. 1998, yeah, a sensational result. Eight. And he was saying that he has uh, rededicated himself to the sport in the last year or so. He had a son last year, Leighton, and uh, he's realising that he's playing for him as well as himself. Practices with John Higgins, Stephen Maguire and Graham Dot. Can't really ask for much better than that. Yes, played that one well. No side on the cue ball. 
have been so easy to hide these reds, but he's perfect. Sampi. He's had a pretty good season. He's only lost in the first round of one tournament. So he's uh, just crept up the world rankings to 42nd. He would need to win two matches here to get in the top 32 for the first time. And the qu quarter of the draw is in. Mark Williams to play Ronnie O'Sullivan or Liang Wenbo. That is unlikely, but even so, he's at the crucible. And I'm sure he'll be determined to make the most of it. Well, that wasn't a particularly good safety shot, but he always knew he had the red over the boat corner. Sorry, positional shot. But this red over the boat corner will keep him going. Now, just needs to get that cue ball out of bark. Touch of right hand side on the cue ball. 33. And he's managed that. So now, now back in prime position again. And even though the balls are nicely spread, this is the first frame. And sometimes players do take a little while to settle down, but Marcus seems to be going well here. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. And Marcus will have known that Mark Williams is playing well. He'll have watched him play in the China Open, he know what he'd have to do. He'll have prepared well for this match. A lot of wrist action there. A lot of players play with a rigid action, but Marcus, 44. very wristy. Here it is again. A lot of movement in the wrist there. 